guys, it's Elena, and this is Cloth Collective Initiative Week 2022. And today, I want to tell you guys about my favorite thing in the whole wide world, and that is flats, flat diapers. I want to tell you why I love them, what my favorite things about them are, why I think everybody should try them, and uh, also we'll talk about the cons at the end. So let's hop in, and I'll tell you why flats are my favorite cloth diapering option or system. Let's go. Okay, I want to try and keep this quick. Okay, I'm going to try and read through the list on my phone. Hopefully, we won't spend too much time on each topic. Uh, easy to hand wash in a pinch. If you have run out of diapers and your laundry stops working or for some reason you just need to hand wash some diapers, flats are your best option for hand washing because they are one single thin layer of fabric. They're not big, thick, you know, fluffy inserts, those are hard to get the water and the detergent through the entire insert. When it's one layer of fabric, it's easy to get washed up well if you're just hand washing it in the sink or with the bucket and plunger method or whatever it is that you, whatever method you wanna to use to wash your diapers, flat diapers are the easiest to wash. And since they are one thin, piece of fabric, one layer, they are quick to dry. Whether you are hanging them, you can just like hang them over the backs of your kitchen chairs or over a railing or outside somewhere, or if you're actually going to be tumble drying them in your dryer, whatever way you're gonna dry them, they are gonna dry the fastest of all the different kinds of diapers because they're just that one thin layer of fabric, really easy to get that dry. Wash routine in the washer is very simple. It's really hard to mess up washing flats. If your entire collection consists of flats and you're putting those through the washer, um, you should have an easier time than if you're washing microfiber inserts or other big, thick, you know, really dense inserts. Those can be difficult, like I said, to get the water and the detergent and everything through all of those layers. Because it's one single layer, it will wash up better. So if you are somebody who has been cloth diapering already and you've kind of had stink issues, things aren't getting as clean as you would like in the washer, flats are a great alternative because they're going to work well with whatever your wash routine is because they're just one, one layer of fabric, like I said. Of course, they have multiple uses. You can use them as cleaning rags. You can use them as bibs. There are many times that I have taken a flat, fold it into a little triangle, wrap it around kiddo, use it as a bib. Um, you can use them as like, you know, receiving blankets, like burp rags, stuff like that when you have little babies. We used muslin flats like this all the time when Barrett was a little baby. When he started outgrowing the like newborn size muslin flats, um, I would just use those as burp rags around the house. And I love the way muslin looks. Like it has a beautiful, full like texture, fluffy little texture to it. And I think it's cute. It's kind of, you know, like kind of trendy, you know, like the nice soft, like natural neutral kind of stuff. It's kind of a little bit trendy. So it's a nice little fancy burp rag, even though it's just a diaper. They are affordable. You can get flats for like two to four bucks a piece. Now, yes, there are, you know, luxury stretchy flats out there that you could pay 20 bucks a piece for. But if you're just going with like old school cotton flats, even like cotton bamboo blend flats that are not like stretchy flats, they're super affordable. And you don't even have to buy like actual flat diapers, like labeled flat diapers. You can buy flour sack towels from Walmart for like less than a buck a piece. You can buy like receiving blankets, flannel cotton receiving blankets that you may have in like the baby stuff. You may find it like Goodwill or like you may have gotten for your baby shower and stuff. Those are great inserts. They're a great option. I would still consider them flats, even though they're technically not a flat diaper. They're one thin single layer of fabric like this and they can be folded up into a flat if you need it to be. They are absorbent. These are my favorite flats in the whole wide world. These are the Green Mountain Diapers Cloth Ease Muslin. One size, it may even be a size large. Um, but these are very absorbent. This will hold at least a cup and a half, if not a cup and three quarters of uh, pee of liquid on there. And that is a great amount of, of absorbency. Usually you'll see like more regular old bird's eye flats will hold about a cup and a quarter, which is like my bare minimum for a diaper. If you have a kiddo who is more of a heavy wetter or at least a little bit more than average wetter, a cup and a half is a great amount of absorbency. So uh, these muslin flats will hold at least a cup and a half, if not a cup and three quarters most of the time. So they are very absorbent. 
Now, when you pad fold it like this and you put it in a diaper, they can be a little bit bulky. You know, it's a little bit fluffy there. So it's not exactly the trimmest diaper when you just pad fold like this. But if you actually go in and fold up like an old school diaper, you know, like actually fold it up onto baby and wrap it around and you can either use like old school diaper pins or you can use cool little new things called snappies or boingos to snap it across. If you actually fold it up on a kiddo, they can be very trim and they don't look big and fluffy and bulky when you are folding it around kiddo, especially like stretchy flats. They look so good. Stretchy flats on a little baby butt, they look like babies just like wearing little underpants. Like they are so trim and fit so nicely around baby. So not only are they versatile in like the ways you can use them outside of cloth diapering, they're versatile as a cloth diaper themselves. Like I showed, if you actually want to fold up your flat so that you can put it all the way around kiddo, like an old school diaper, you can do that. And the cool thing about flats is that you can choose to fold like each one a different way. There are several different like designs, styles, ways to fold up a flat diaper to fit around kiddos. So you can customize it for the kiddo you have. Like my two older boys were always chubbier, bigger kiddos. And I never, when I used like pre-folds, the wings never wrapped around the hip as much as I wanted them to. When I use a flat like this, I can make big old wings like this where they pretty much cross all the way over kiddo's whole belly, their whole body, you know? So you can customize it to fit the way you need on your kiddo. Unlike some other diapers, you're just kind of stuck with how they are. And you don't have to fold it into a shape and actually put it around baby. You can just pad fold it and make it into an insert. So if you are somebody who has tried microfiber inserts before, you know they're just little rectangular inserts. You can fold it up into an insert, use it inside of a cup cover, just keep the cover close to baby's body and it'll stay put right there inside of the cover. Or you can stuff it into pocket diapers like you did with the microfiber inserts or other kind of inserts that you used. So you can turn it into its own little insert and use it in different styles. You don't have to, it's not just a one type of diaper. You can use it in a pocket, in a cover. You can fold it around baby. You can pad fold it into an insert shape. So they're very versatile in the cloth diaper world and outside of cloth diapering. I was trying to keep this video quick, but I feel like we're, it's not going to be as quick as I thought it would be. <laughs> Okay, so those are all the pros. Let's get into a couple of the cons. I do wanna quickly run through those because yes, there are cons about it and one of them is, yeah, we gotta fold it up. You gotta fold it somehow. You can't just take this out of the wash and like stuff it into anything. You gotta take a second to actually fold it up. So if you're somebody who, you're a working parent and you only have an hour between dinner and bedtime or whatever in the evenings, flats are probably gonna bug you because you do have to take that extra little bit of time to fold them all down and do something with them. You, you can't just do anything with them straight out of the, of the dryer. Folded on flats definitely have a learning curve. If you are actually somebody who wants to wrap it around kiddo, that's gonna be harder to learn than just pad folding it. And not just that it's harder to learn for you, but it's harder like when you have somebody uh, watch kiddo. Like if grandma watches the kiddo maybe once a month or something, or maybe your husband uh, takes more diaper control over the weekends or something, then it's harder for them to catch on because they're not dealing with them every single day. So those people in your life who are just occasionally changing diapers, not as much as you may be, um, it's gonna be harder for them to learn how to fold it onto kiddo and get it right on kiddo because they're not getting that experience every single day, right? So it can be harder for those who are being the caregivers to actually do anything more than just a pad fold. This pad fold, everybody can do that. Everybody can fold it into a rectangle and figure it out that way. Um, so if you have other people in your life who are cloth diapering your kiddo with flats, just, just teach them how to do this. Show them how to do this, super duper easy. Oh, and the last thing I do want to mention, if you are actually folding this around kiddo, so let me fold it back up into like a diaper shape. Um, if you're actually folding this around kiddo and they make a poo, it's more of a pain to clean out. It is because you've got like all these different folds inside. So if this is on kiddo and I'm going to unwrap, unwrap kiddo and there is a poo on here. 
You're not gonna just have Pooh right here, right? Pooh's gonna escape onto this little wing, this little wing. You're gonna have to kinda loosen up the diaper a little bit to spray it all out into the toilet or just let it sit in the toilet for longer so that it can all get kinda loosened up in the toilet. I know, it's a cloth diaper video. We're talking about Pooh. I know it's not the funnest topic, but anyway. They are a little more of a pain to spray out if you actually are folding it around kiddo because you're gonna have all of those different different folds inside of the diaper that's you know creating your absorbent section that and it's not gonna the poo doesn't the poo doesn't just stay like in one little spot right the poo gets on all the different little flaps so kind of a pain that way as well but yeah those are the reasons i love flat diapers i think they are the best option they are definitely my favorite type of absorbency insert cloth diaper item and there are a lot of different ones out there you know you can get super duper cheap ones you can get really fancy smancy ones um so i love flats they're my favorite and i really think that everybody should try them <laughs> But I understand why some people wouldn't like them. You know, that's why I included the cons. I know there are cons to using flats. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you love flats or hate them and let me know why down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Give the video a thumbs up if you did like it. I hope you are following along for the other Cloth Collective Initiative videos this week. I'm also posting a little bit on Instagram if you care to see that. There's always a link down below as well. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.